five shocking theories about Rhaenyra Targaryen. In our previous video, we discussed five intriguing theories about Daemon Targaryen, heading into the new season of the House of the Dragon. We analyzed everything from his immunity to fire, to his possible transformation into the Night King. However, the House of the Dragon would not be the intense power drama it is without the intervention of one of its main characters, Rhaenyra Targaryen. Some believe she could be the princess that was promised, while others fear she could become an even more fearsome figure than the Queen of Ashes. In this video, we explore the five most fascinating theories about Rhaenyra Targaryen for the upcoming season of The House of the Dragon. And if you love everything related to the world of ice and fire, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Number 5. Rhaenyra doesn't want to be queen. In the first season of The House of the Dragon, Rhaenyra became the heir to the throne because Daemon turned out to be unfit for the position, and her brother lost his life after one day of being born. However, as the series progresses, it becomes clear through Rhaenyra's actions and decisions that she really does not wish to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Rhaenyra repeatedly demonstrates that she prefers freedom and adventure over her royal duties, and makes controversial decisions that undermine her position as a future queen. One of the first indications that Rhaenyra is not interested in being queen is her frustration with the expectation that she will marry and bear children to ensure the Targaryen succession. She tells Alicent Hightower that she would rather ride dragons and have adventures than become pregnant. Even after her father officially names her as his heir, Rhaenyra actively avoids engaging with potential suitors, turning down marriage proposals from several lords. This is one of the reasons why Alicent is annoyed with Rhaenyra, seeing her as an irresponsible person who does not care about the future of the kingdom. Another important decision that points to Rhaenyra's lack of desire for the throne is the forbidden romance with her uncle Daemon Targaryen. Rhaenyra knows that this relationship is politically and socially unacceptable, but she escapes with Daemon to a brothel anyway, demonstrating her disregard for the rules and limitations of her position. Even after this affair ends abruptly, years later Rhaenyra sleeps with Daemon again, marries him, and they have children. This puts Rhaenyra in a very bad position in front of the rest of Westeros and the rest of the noble houses, as many fear Daemon and know how ambitious he is. Perhaps Rhaenyra's most controversial action that undermines her position as a future queen is her relationship with Harwin Strong, which results in three children that she intends to pass off as legitimate and heirs to the throne. Rhaenyra proved to be quite irresponsible, or perhaps she simply had no interest in being queen like her father. Although Viserys shared the prophecy with her, and this seems to have kept her interested in the throne, her actions do not reflect a genuine desire to reign. If she has now decided to take on the High Towers, it is probably out of revenge. The theory that Rhaenyra does not wish to be queen is one of the most convincing. Number 4. Rhaenyra will become the Queen of the Ashes. During the first season of The House of the Dragon, Rhaenyra spends much of her time avoiding and postponing her destiny as the future Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. By the end of the season, Rhaenyra is forced to face the dire consequences of her reluctance to assume her role as a future queen. After the death of her son Luce Aris at the hands of Aemon Targaryen, something breaks inside Rhaenyra. The loss of a child is unbearable for any mother. But given all that Rhaenyra has already lost in her life, this final blow brings her to the brink of madness. It was her unwillingness to take her position seriously that allowed the High Towers to consummate their treachery and usurp the throne that rightfully belongs to her. Had Rhaenyra acted more decisively as heir and better protected the interests of her house, perhaps her precious son would still be alive. Now, though too late, she finally understands the warnings Daemon had been giving her for years about the Hightower threat. This new, determined and ruthless Rhaenyra 
could prove far more dangerous and destructive than Daenerys Targaryen. With more dragons under her control than Daenerys ever had, and with her judgment clouded by grief and thirst for vengeance, those of us who have read the books know that Rhaenyra's side will commit far worse acts than Daenerys ever thought possible. Undoubtedly, the Queen of Ashes is a fitting title. Number 3. Rhaenyra's children are illegitimate. A rumor circulated in King's Landing that sparked the Dance of the Dragons. Rhaenyra had a lover, Harwin Strong, with whom she supposedly had illegitimate children. This scandal is one of the main reasons for Alicent's deep contempt for Rhaenyra. To Alicent, Rhaenyra was not only betraying her marriage vows and her role as heir, but also the faith of the Seven. There is speculation in this universe that Rhaenyra's children are not legitimate, and there are strong indications that this is true. Number 2. Rhaenyra had an affair with Alicent. The first clue about the relationship between the two of them can be seen in the first episode of The House of the Dragon, when Rhaenyra is flying with Cyrax. In this scene we can see how Rhaenyra tells Alicent that she could soon fly with her on the dragon. This offer is one that we later see Daemon make to Miss Arya. This denotes a high level of trust and complicity. The Targaryen were both feared and admired for their connection to dragons, and the fact that Rhaenyra offers this to Alicent could be the first indication that she not only sees her as an equal, but also feels something more for her. Then we see scenes in which Alicent is narrating a story to Rhaenyra, as she did with her husband Viserys, and we see that they both dreamed of having a different life. This scene when they are reading the stories is so important, as it came to be one of the most important pieces for the last episode, when Otto Hightower brings her the page of the story that Alicent read to Rhaenyra when they were teenagers. When Rhaenyra sees this page, she begins to cry, because she remembers the feeling she had for Alicent. She remembers the time when their hearts were one. If there was actually something much more than a friendship between Rhaenyra and Alicent, this could explain why Alicent gets so upset when she hears rumors that Daemon has taken Rhaenyra to a brothel, or that she had been with Sir Crispin. If this theory is true, Alicent could have felt destroyed, or even betrayed. All this would have remained as a crazy internet theory, or as something that could have been, but the actresses who play Alicent and Rhaenyra gave their opinion about this hypothesis. In an insider interview, the actresses were asked about this romantic chemistry between the two characters, Actress Millie Alcock, who played the young version of Rhaenyra, stated that Rhaenyra was in love with Alicent, or at least she took this into account to play her role. Number 1. Rhaenyra is the princess that was promised. According to the prophecy, someone with the Targaryen lineage will arise, who will save mankind, and who will unite the Seven Kingdoms to defeat the darkness. This prophecy originates with the ancestral house Targaryen, and specifically with Aegon the Conqueror, who conquered Westeros in order to prevent an apocalyptic future. According to Viserys Targaryen, Aegon foresaw the end of the world of men, and attributed it to the need for a Targaryen to be on the Iron Throne. Viserys thought his first son was that prince that was promised, for he had prophetic dreams with him. But everything went wrong, his son died, and the prophecy could not be fulfilled. Under this premise, Viserys names her daughter Rhaenyra as his heir, because it seemed to be too risky to put Daemon as king. However, after Viserys loses his life, Queen Alicent's side steals the throne from Rhaenyra, which triggers the Dance of the Dragons. But will Rhaenyra really be the princess that was promised? If Rhaenyra succeeds in recapturing the throne, the prophecy could become relevant again in her life and reign. Such a prophecy could be used as a justification for any act of cruelty or tyranny she decides to undertake. The figure of the princess that was promised could further distort her ethical and moral sense, perhaps making her even more ruthless than the Targaryens who preceded her. These have been five fascinating theories about Rhaenyra Targaryen, 
heading into the second season of The House of the Dragon. Leave me in the comments which theories you think will come true this season. And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Three-Eyed Raven.